it's time for another film room on in this episode i'm gonna stick to the offensive line and we're gonna look at nebraska center cam jurgens here's a prospect that is shooting up draft boards not too many people if anybody was talking about him before the season and now there's talk of him going in the early second round of the 2022 NFL Draft. So I'm not going to waste any more time with this. If you're not familiar with, uh, with what I do here, is I'm going to take a look at five or six games from Cam Jurgens um, from this 2022 season to kind of showcase the type of prospect that he is, what type of player he's he could be in the NFL, what he does well. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the film. The first thing I want to highlight is that as, as we know, and we saw this with the Combine, we saw this with his pro day, Cam Jurgens is an elite athlete. And his abilities, you know, he's a former tight end prospect, uh, recruit that came to Nebraska as a uh, – and was moved to center. He just has that athleticism. As we see on this play, what I like about it is just his ability to show, utilize – it's one thing to be a good athlete, but if you can't use it in the game uh, – and on this screenplay, what I love here is he's able to get out in space, and he, he, you know, along with his his left tackle and, and guard, he's able to get out and then go find someone. Look at him accelerate, and he doesn't uh, lock down or bury Daxton Hill hit there, but he is able to occupy him enough that allow that running back to get by, and it just showcases his his lateral agility, his speed, his athleticism to make moves in the open field. And, you know, he tested it on the elite level, and he showcases it on the field. Now, looking at that athleticism again, we see this in the run game. Here against Northwestern, he's just able to get to that second level, occupy that, that defender to allow his running back to get up the middle and get a touchdown. As we see here, just his effortless ability to get up there. I mean, it's just smooth. It's quick. And then he's able not only to engage, but then get those hips around and let the running back fly right past him um, in, into the end zone. And it just showcases, once again, as I said in the last clip, his elite athleticism, just to be able to get up there, move his body to help his, his team produce. Another example of that athleticism, especially in the run game, here against Oklahoma, they're going to pull Cam Jurgens out to the left. And... He's going to take on this this defensive back. And not only is he athletic, he can get out there, but then he just sticks with them. And I just love this nastiness of, I'm just going to bury you. I don't care if you're a defensive back. I don't care if you're a nickel corner, if you're a linebacker. I'm going to come up, I'm going to hit you, and then I'm going to put you into the ground. And, and he did that at the end. So I just love that nastiness to Cam Jurgens, But just, you know, once again, we're seeing we see a lot of NFL teams. They like to move their linemen, and here you have a center who's able not only to snap the ball, but then get to the outside and kick a guy out for a running back. Uh, offensive linemen, offensive line coaches are going to love a player like this that they can kind of move around and help utilize him in their run game. And then what I really like about his athleticism is in this clip here against Michigan. He's going to go and he's going to block this defensive tackle who's, who's outside of it. He's head up on the left guard. And at the snap, Cam Jurgens is able to explode. I mean, look at how quick he got off and over to this defender and is able to seal him off. So not only is he able to reach basically outside his gap, but he's able to get out there and seal him off to the outside on that, that run right there. And it's just has quick quick and explosive that i mean just look this before this defensive tackle can really get into his you know he's, he's just out of his stance jerkins is over here on his outside shoulder ready to seal him off and let his running back get by and when you got a center that can do that that opens up a lot of stuff that you can do with your offensive line you can move your guards a lot better you, you know you just have more of that ability to to do things and I just love how his speed and his explosiveness it's one thing to get out in a screen it's one thing to pull but if you can use that speed and explosiveness to reach and get guys outside your gap that's tremendous 
Now, if we look at Cam Jurgens outside of his athleticism, you know, he's an offensive lineman, so he's got to be able to, you know, be strong at the powder, a point of attack. And in this play against Michigan, we're going to see him kind of engage with the defensive tackle to his right, and he's able to en engage with him and then seal him off and anchor in. And that's one of the things I liked about Jurgens. He's got a strong base. And despite being a little, maybe a little bit light for the position, I mean, at the combine he was 309. Uh, that's not super light, but it still is. Uh, he, he's able to anchor. And here he is, like I said, he engages with this defensive tackle, and he's able to just use good leverage and seal him off on this run to the outside and prevent him from making that play. And so not only do you have the speed and the athleticism, but you got the ability to to win at the point of attack and seal off. You know, he doesn't have to, in this case, move the guy down the field, but all he has to do is gain that position, that inside position, sink those hips and anchor in, and he wins that rep. So I've shown you his ability to to win with his speed and explosiveness. I've seen his shown you his ability to seal off. Here against Northwestern, Jurgens is going to be able to steer. And sometimes when you have, uh, once again, you're not the most strongest, but you can grab onto your defender, turn him enough, and seal him off. And that's what we see right here with Jurgens. He's going to engage with number 96 uh, right here, engage with him, and he's got able to just turn him enough. See with his right hand, he gets that hand up there just to turn him enough, get his hips around, and push him down just enough. He's not moving him down the line but he's able to just turn that shoulder enough seal himself off and give his running back the room so the running back didn't go far that wasn't Jurgens's fault because he did what he was supposed to do he engaged right there with he's got that upper body strength to push him up use that leverage to just move him enough he just had to move him enough to give his running back that little bit of a lane to get by and hopefully get to the second level all right, the last clip I want to show you of him as a run blocker is here against Wisconsin. It's at the, you know, not the goal line, but it's the red zone. And here he actually shows that ability to move a defender. So once again, he's right here, and he's going to, at the snap of the ball, engage with this defensive tackle, head up on him, shading him, whatever you want to call it. And he's able to turn him and push him down enough. And it's not like, once again, he's not driving him into the back of the end zone. But he's being able to engage with him, turn him enough, and push him down just enough for that running back to get through and in for a touchdown. And it's just that ability to just do enough. Just like I showed you with that Northwestern clip. He doesn't have to just blow him off the ball. He's got enough strength, enough power, good leverage. I mean, look at that knee bend where he's playing at, and he's able to just lean on him and push him enough to get by and for that touchdown. Now we know this is the an NFL is a passing league, and so I could show you run clip after run clip after run clip. But Cam Jurgens has got to be able to pass protect, and that's what I'm gonna uh, we're gonna look at right here. So against Michigan, the thing that we like about that I like about Cam Jurgens is his lateral agility. He's got that strong base, but he's also got that use that athleticism to be able to move side to side slide with defenders and keep his quarterback clean so as I said here against Michigan he's going to pick up this defender to his to his right and not only he's supposed to engage with him square him up got a good base right there he's able to engage with him and then he's able to slide with him to his right and stick his hands in there to prevent him from getting by and it's just that ability, you know, he moves to his to his right. And then as the defender comes cut, trying to cut across from him, he's able to slide, redirect, and slide laterally to his left with him to stay in front of him, to mirror him, and to keep his quarterback clean. You know, he maybe lost half of a step, but, you know, he kept the front of that pocket clean for his quarterback to make that throw. And because Cam Jurgens had so much lateral agility and they had struggles at the offensive tackle position they used this to their advantage and they actually had cam jurgens kick outside on his blocks and i haven't really seen this very much if at all before this season 
And as we see here against Oklahoma, at the snap of the ball, he's going to come out, not flying, but he's able to come out and pick up that edge defender on this run. It allowed them to, like I said, they, they had some struggles at right tackle. So in, th in this case, they had them, their right tackle blocked down, and he's able to make this lateral move, kind of kick out, and pick up this this tackle, this this edge defender, like a tackle, and allow his quarterback to be able to make that throw. We see that here against Ohio State. Once again, he's going to kick out to his right on this pass play to pick up this, this defensive back coming off the edge and he's able to just drive him to the ground with a punch. And I just love that ability once again. It just shows his athleticism. He's able to, you know, they're using that to their advantage. And, and I know the Saints did this a little bit this past season with their um, athletic center, Cesar Ruiz. And Jurgens is able to just get out and engage. And, you know, strong base, he's unbalanced, and he just pushes the defender and knocks him five, six, seven yards and to the ground and it's just that athleticism that balance and just being able to to make plays and keep his quarterback clean things that i always like to see when i watch offensive linemen is how they're able to recover because they're going to miss and they're going to whiff and the defenders are going to make a move on them how do they recover and here against michigan i see that with jurgens he initially goes to his right to pick up this defender sliding to his right but the defender is making a hard cut to to Jurgens' left. And so as Jurgens makes this move to his right, he gets beat. But he's able to, to use his athleticism, adjust, and push this defender enough to recover. And it's not like he's facing this elite interior pass rusher, but it just shows that his, he can use this as agility, he can use his change of direction to really recover and still make a block. And then finally, he's got to be able to anchor. He's going to get bull rushed. He's going to have big, massive defensive tackles either lined up head on him or shading him. How is he going to anchor? And here against Michigan, we see that he engages to his left, once again sinks his hips, plays with good leverage, and is able to anchor and helps that maybe his, the defensive tackle got uh, knocked, tripped up a little bit, but then he's able to bury him. And so once again, you know, he just shows – Despite being six foot three, 309 pounds, maybe playing a little bit lighter than that, he's able to take on defensive tackles and block them. As you can see, there's plenty to like about Cam Jurgens as a prospect. You know, his his you combine his athleticism with his his functional strength. He, like uh, I said several times, he's not going to move guys, but he's got enough functional strength to seal, to to steer, um, and so. I think when you combine all those things, plus he's an ascending player. You know, here's a guy who was recruited to Nebraska as a tight end, started his career initially as a tight end before moving to center during his, his redshirt freshman year, um, and he, he's grown at each point, um, it, at each season as a center. So I think his best football is still ahead of him. Uh, I, at this point, I think he's probably going to be a second round to third round pick. Um, you're starting to see that that love for him. And it's kind of a weak interior class, and I think that could also boost him. So I think a team that runs a zone-heavy scheme is going to be a big fan of Cam Jurgens. So a team like the 49ers, uh, a team like the Broncos, um, are, are just a number of the few. The Chicago Bears, I think, are all teams that could definitely take a long look at, at Cam Jurgens, especially if they don't have the need to put him in right away. Um, the Eagles are another team that I think if they – they looking for that second or third round, a guy that they can stash, develop, and maybe start towards the end of the year or even um, replace a veteran um, in his second year in the league. So I'm a big fan of Cam Jurgens. I think he's going to do well. I think he's got Pro Bowl uh, potential, and it'll be interesting to see who takes him and where he ends up going, going in the 2022 NFL Draft. Uh, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. Hope you enjoyed this episode. The best way to get these is to subscribe. Um, hit that subscription button, hit the uh, the bell for all the notifications. Uh, while you're doing that, follow me on social media, draft underscore Brian, uh, wherever your social media is, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it may be, draft underscore Brian. Thanks for watching. Until next time.